can't even get a question in with Eddie Wiley without him and I discussing the pain I am feeling with my left thigh, and I accidentally verbalized saying, you have no idea, brother. Meanwhile, it's like, well, you, you just put in an eight to 10 week training camp, you know exactly how I feel, and probably 100 times worse. Absolutely, I got a little bit of an idea. You know, it's, uh, the guys I've been training with, they've been, they've been throwing a lot of kicks and a lot of, uh, a lot of punishment my way, and, and <laughs> I know the pain. So I'm sitting there doing a seminar to take the kicks, but you're actually trying to figure out the timing, the timing of what Hennin Barrow would bring to this fight, because he's got some stellar Muay Thai, and he sets it up very well. How long have you been drilling that, and what goes through your mind when you look at the guy, you finally see him in the cage and think to yourself, okay, I'm looking for this, this, and that? Um, yeah, he does. He, not only does he have stellar Muay Thai, it's, it's unorthodox, you know. He, he's got all kinds of spinning and jumping stuff. It's hard to prepare for. Uh, you know, we, we got fortunate enough that we, we had a, a training partner land on us just out of the blue that the first time I sparred with him, his, his, combina his combinations were almost the same as, as Hennon's, and uh, we've been training that for since April basically you know we've been training for April for June and then we started again in July for now and uh, it's it's we're ready for it you know you just you get the timing down and you step in and, and blast his face that, uh, that was gonna be my next question it's difficult to figure out especially with a heavy-handed fighter like yourself sometimes you invite the slugfest but sometimes you have to set it up which can be dangerous but can be also beneficial where do you how do you figure that out without stepping in the cage though you know um, I embrace a slugfest. Uh, as far as figuring it out, I mean, that's something you got to figure out when you get in the cage. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to figure out before you get into the cage. Uh, Hennon's smart. I, I don't think he's going to be lured in too much. Um, I, I think he's going to get tagged a couple of times, and, and he's probably going to want to take it to the ground. You know, I, I know in a couple of his interviews, he said that I've got power, and that's his, my biggest or his biggest danger to me. And uh, I, I think he's going to try and take me down and, and not get lured into my, into my game. And, and I got to do everything I can to make it my fight. Of course, there's the talk of the 31 fight unbeaten streak. Do you look at that as a nice little uh, badge of honor that you could have, or is it, you know what, uh, who cares? I got to fight this guy. That's all that matters. Yeah, it's, it's an impressive win streak. Uh, obviously, he's a phenomenal fighter. You, know, you can't take anything away from him. Um, you know, but that is, that is a strap I'd like to put on my back, and uh, you know, the only guy to have beaten him so far, and, and, and that's going to be me. You mentioned the strap. You're the original holder of the WC title. The lineage, like you mentioned, goes all the way to the UFC now, but the lineage has sort of been forked. Because Dominic Cruz has been on hold since 2011, he's the inter or Hannah Burrell is the interim champ right now. Would you have rather fought Dominic or listen? This is where we're at right now. I'll deal with Cruz if I have to once I defeat Burrell. Yeah, I mean this this, this uh, the bantamweight division is kind of in limbo right now because of because of Cruz being out and it's an unfortunate injury. You know, he gets injured, gets fixed, gets injured again. Um, it's hard to deal with. So uh, you know, we, we, all we can do is wish him the best and uh, hope that he heals quickly and, and is able to come back so we can unify the belt and uh, move on with the bantamweight division. Final question. You know that the Toronto crowd is going to be absolutely insane, especially if you land that right hand and you hear Bruce Buffer saying, and new UFC bantamweight champion. But if you had that perfect fight on Saturday night, is it the right hand or is it an, an, amal like a, an amalgamation of all kinds of techniques? You know, it's... it's um my right hand, I don't think there's any secret there. My right hand is hard, and, uh, you know, I got power on my left. It's, you know, my right cross, my right uppercut. I think if it lands, he's going to sleep. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. There you go. Eddie Wineland challenging for the UFC interim bantamweight champion Saturday night, UFC 165.